Dude, he just taking like all the line off. Oh my god. Alright. Remember that last move? Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. guys welcome back to our video so today is june 25th 2020 hopefully you guys can hear me right now i'm actually in the boat and we're underway i just woke up from my nap it's around four o'clock right now we left dock around one um so it's been an eventful day so far we're headed out here to the canyons i'm not exactly sure but we're off the coast fishing out here in the canyon we're gonna do overnight or tonight I got a ton of food, pick up some hoagies and reverses, a bunch of stuff. Wow, wow, the essentials, beef jerky, candy, sour patch kits. So, we're all set food wise. This could be a great trip out here. I've been up since five this morning. What she said fish this morning did not go well. Only got four bites in two hours, but now we're here tuna fishing. So, um, we're just gonna hopefully catch some tuna. The bite has really picked up in the canyons the past few days with the yellow fin thing. I need some blue fin. So that's a goal. We'll just get some fish in the boat finally. It's my third trip out here. First two trips were almost skunks. I had two under blue for the first trip. And the last trip we literally caught no fish. So hopefully third time to start with my trip. Chris and Chris Zach have been out here a few days ago and did pretty well. So hope we get some fish guys. Should be good. I'll toss the GoPro, get everything ready. Um, talk to the guy, I just woke up a few seconds ago, so excited. It's four o'clock now. I'm gonna put out the spread troll a little bit, and then we're probably gonna shark overnight, and then do the same thing tomorrow. Just troll and get some fish, hopefully. I'll see you guys on the GoPro. I wanna get everything set up. Hopefully, catch some fish, guys. I'm stoked to get out here. It's gonna be awesome. Go. About five minutes. A little guy. We got shark bait. Okay. <laughs> we got some shark bait. Right? Oh yeah. Shark bait. Is that a little bluefin? Little baby elephant. Look at that. Cool. Awesome. Well guys, it did not take long at all. First little bluefin, new species. Kind of shit. We were just putting out the spread still and that got, little guy hit. Under under, so that fish wasn't even of legal size. Send him back, quick, quick release, make sure they uh they get to grow up to be a thousand pounds one day, so. Feeling good about this, guys. From five o'clock right now, we're gonna troll it almost ten o'clock, nine forty-five-ish, and it's gonna it's gonna be fun. Got a good feeling. Hopefully, catch some yellows, maybe a big guy. 
hammerhead out there too, guys. Oh wow! The life out here. We've seen a bunch of free swimming sharks, birds everywhere. A few other boats out here. Um, it, it just looks great, so we're feeling good. Hoping for a home run this time, or at least some some more sushi. So uh, yeah, we're gonna hopefully catch some fish, guys. Hopefully see a lot more action here on the GoPro, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm stoked. It's gonna be a good trip. Cover up. Oh my god, there's a ton. Big pot of hammerheads, guys. Let me get a popper out here. I still know tuna yet, except for that little bluefin, but see in the background back there, got a ton of dolphins, porpoise. I mean, there's probably close to 100 of them right there, and then we got some current over here. And you can just, you can smell a death in the air. There's so much sand eels or some type of bait. You can just smell the oil. We'll get bit soon. It's around 5.45 now. Um, gonna keep trolling till 9.45, like I said, but just the amount of signs of life we're seeing out here is awesome. Seeing a bunch of sharks. Got some cool video of those. So we're just gonna keep on trolling and hopefully got some tuna soon. Signs of life right here, guys. Look at that picking all the little morsels that are flowing up. I don't know what type of birds these are. I think it's a Northern Senate or something. So sick out here, man. Running right over. We'll get bit any second now. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, another one, another one. Yep, doubled up. Fish on, guys. There we go, baby. Woo! Baby. Micros. Woo -hoo. Yeah, it's a right, See ya. Woo. So guys, got them. Sun's on about to set, but hopefully the bite starts picking up, man. We got some under blue, well, some real tiny micro bluefin. Got some hammerheads out here, sunfish, but hopefully get some bigger ones. Looking for the big eye and the yellowfin. But yeah, I mean, that was awesome. I'm not gonna complain at all. I love the colors in those guys. Such sick little fish. Happy to release them. Let them grow up to 800, 800 to 1,000 pounder. Let's get back out. Hopefully you got some big yellows or maybe a big eye. There we go. So far, I got three micro bluefin, seeing a bunch of life, and hopefully get some bigger, bigger eaters. It's around 9.30 right now, and unfortunately, I had no more takers on the uh, patrol. That'll to wrap up patrolling soon, and we're just gonna be getting into sharking, and I'm gonna be getting into squidding. So, got my little squid jigs over here, charging up in the corner again, I'm nice and, nice and glowy. Before we drop them down, I'm hopefully gonna jam some calamari. So, 
that's gonna be a plan. Not much on the troll. Pick that up tomorrow morning. And we'll see what happens tonight. Got a bunch of food. Gonna sit back and relax. And we'll see what happens, guys. Hopefully catch some sharks. Seen a bunch of hammerheads around today, so probably we'll hook into some of them. I'm gonna be trying to get some squid for some dinner. And we'll see what happens, guys. Never know what'll happen out here, especially out in the canyon. See you guys on the GoPro. Who knows what'll happen. Oh my God. I literally come with like a foot away from the boat. No way. Twelve o'clock midnight. Got one, got one. Calamari on the deck. I saw him swimming. And I dropped a jig in front of his face and he didn't bite it, so I put a little strip on. It's a decent sized one too. Oh dude, he is going and came from just He's a fat one. That's awesome, man. I saw him just come and smoke it. Look at that, guys. That's awesome. Literally, I've been out here for probably two hours just doing this. Setting up a bunch of rigs and stuff. And there's a bunch of squid right there. That rogue free swimmer, though, just inhaled it, man. All right, put him in the cooler. Drop down and get another one. That was so sick. They're down there, it's midnight. Let's see if we can get some more guys. Gonna put the GoPro in loop. It's been three hours, so I don't wanna burn through a whole bunch of batteries. There we go, this is a choice rig right here. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit. Just slam that little dude right there, sick. Let's see if we can get another one. Got him, got him. Got him. Yes. Hell yeah, man. Woo! Let's go, baby. Second squid of the night right there. On the raw jig. There we go, guys. Second catch of the night. Another little squid. I'm not sure what the idea is on this guy. It's not a new species or anything because it's not a fish, but I found out all the little ones, all the ones I'm seeing are just little guys. And these are the only ones that can actually eat my little jig. Gnarly little sucker, sick. All right, that's enough. I'm gonna go probably take a little nap right now. It's around 1.30 right now. That was so dope. All right, so we're gonna go take a little nap to sky on ice. Little calamari, baby. Sick. There's really not a lot of big ones out here. But once you see a big one, they'll, they'll chase the, the lure. This is all I'm using right here. It's not even a UV lure. It doesn't take up any, it doesn't reflect any light really that much. He just tossed it down there and he chased it. So that was pretty, pretty gnarly. Um, got this rod over here too. I'm not going to pull it up, but it's got some, hopefully you guys can see a little bit of glow there, but it's got a bunch of hooks and jigs and mackerel strips on it. And that, that guy's hopefully going to catch me something too, but that was cool. I, I sight casted him, someone swimming by, casted it at him. He stopped, then he chased it in too. It was actually a pretty cool eat. So I'm gonna go take a nap, guys. That was a cool little eat. Just gonna set this drag super loose in case we do get a monster that comes by while I'm sleeping. I'm just gonna drop it down a few feet, keep it close to the surface. We're only in 450 feet here. So it doesn't have to go down that much. Just gonna let it sit. And I'm gonna go catch some Z's. A few moments later. Something on here, man. Something big. Oh my God, no way. 
Yo, shark on, guys. Are you kidding me? Mako, Mako. Are you me right now? Oh my. <laughs> I, I can't even explain yeah, what just happened, dude. You gotta make it. Dude, I, Maybe make it. I, I was going to sleep and my squid rod, the drag started peeling. I think I had a big squid on, so I dropped this down to get it out of the way to pull my squid rod in. He must have been right underneath the boat. Dude, okay. this rod wasn't even in the water. I dropped in 30 seconds wow. ago. I got it all on camera. That's so cool. Oh, he's going under. All right, get your rod that way. That's it. This is right. <laughs> that was so crazy. Oh, no way, man. Good job, Dylan. Hey, well, make you ready? That's awesome. This is deep. Oh, yeah, deep. man. Leader, does that count? Yeah. No, fish. Look at that. Look at that. That's epic. Beautiful. Beautiful to make it. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Wow. Not 73. Nah. Alright. Okay, buddy. I don't know where the hell this wire is, bud. Let's double There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> yeah, he'll be fine. Good job, so Dylan. Sick, man. Good job. I just saw that with my first ever Mako shark. Um, I, don't, I think probably, Chris, what was that? Short fin or long fin? Mako. Short fin Mako. So, another new species for the day. A blue fin, squid, and uh, short fin Mako. So, that's cool. I, I thumbed and snagged a squid rod right there. So, I, I moved that out of the way. And I had the uh, the shark rod was crossed and it wasn't even in the water. So, I just tossed in the water to get out of the way. <laughs> The shark just came up, must have been right underneath the boat. Sweet. All those rods have been out there for three, four hours. And not a sniff, but just toss it right next to the boat. A little probably 60 inch Mako. Sweet. <laughs> probably still don't get any as easy yet. It's about 2.15 now. We'll be back on the troll in two hours. So we'll see what happens with the rest of the day. But sweet, keep me awake. Later in the void. I think I'm ready. Awesome. We got another one, we got another one. All right, well guys, a little bit of a fast forward from the night action, but it's around 5.15 in the morning, just to give you some backstory. Um, I was sound asleep, woke up to a bunch of commotion, people yelling outside, the whole crew was awake. Um, apparently we ran over three big guys, so we hooked up with three. I luckily had the one that was still left after one popped off and the other one popped off Eric's rod, so. I grabbed it in this rod and little did I know I was about to fight for the next next couple minutes. There we go, come on. Swim this way, buddy.
Yeah, this, this is the biggest run he's done. What? This is the hardest he's taken. <sighs> oh my god. I'm gonna get our hand on this. What's that? I'm gonna get in our hand, slip this thing up. Drop that rod. Yeah, I might need a break now, dude. Yeah, you're loud. Especially after this run. Yeah, this run is. Low and steady, okay? No high stretches either. Keep it low. Holy. All right. Bill, you ready to tap out yeah. for a sec? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's just. This run. Huh? He's blistering right now. Okay. Stay, just don't put any forward momentum. Dude, he's taking like all the line off. Oh my god. God, man. After that run, I I couldn't do anymore. I know. It's the worst part when you're straight up and down like that. Oh my God. Am I? Yeah, you call it an hour. Yep. I, I could hop back on if you need in like a few minutes. I any higher than that, okay, Bob? But I just need to crack my back out. My legs just started shaking. I'm like, yeah, I can't. All right. A little break follow that thing for an hour and I literally can't even move. If you need a break again, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Good morning, San Francisco. But Mikey's still fighting the fish. Unfortunately, I had the GoPro set in loop mode, so we only saw the last five minutes of the fight and then whoever was on the head strap, so. Really? Missed about 45 minutes of the fight. But here, Mikey's finished up the end game. I just couldn't do it anymore. My spine was giving out. My legs were quivering, didn't want to lose a fish and be selfish, so. And guys, I actually did hop back on the rod. Um, Mikey fought it for about 15 minutes. Then I picked the rod back up, fought it for probably another 15, 20 minutes. Me and Zach kind of took turns, but unfortunately my GoPro didn't capture it. I don't know what happened. Maybe I forgot the press record or something. Something went wrong, but I did get a few last minutes of the end game. Me and Zach were, like I said, we're just kind of taking turns, passing the rod back and forth, trying to work that leader in. And uh, yeah, this was really the end game. We really couldn't make any mistakes here. That fish was in close. And this was our one opportunity to gaff him, harpoon him, and get him in. Yeah. That's well. Will you just guide that rod, Zach? Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Got him. He's dark. Yeah, baby. We got him, baby. Just get him in, just get him in. Yeah, baby. Oh. Yeah. We got him, baby. Look at that brute. Oh my God, man. Dude. Teamwork, baby. We freaking did it. We did it! We deserve Good it. Good job, Dylan! Yeah! Woo! Oh my god. Yeah! Woo! We got him, Dylan. Mikey, E, everybody. Everybody. That was teamwork, baby. That was perfect teamwork. Eight, awesome, man. You saved it. New species, baby! Woo! First yeah. Fish, yeah. Baby. So I have spent countless hours here in the canyon. Look at that, man. Woo! That's a turkey, baby. Look at that, man. There we go, guys. Two hours later. Big eyes in the cooler, in the kill bag. Couldn't be more stoked, man. All day yesterday, seeing all that life. We knew we were going to get bit. Awesome right last night. Got some squid, got a little mako, got some bluefin yesterday. On the third new species for this one trip, absolutely legendary. And uh, yeah, we're back on the trail right now at seven o'clock. Hooked that fish at five ten. 
I followed it for about an hour, gave it to Mikey for 15, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. I fought a little bit more, and then me and Zach kind of worked together, brought him in at the end. So, I mean, I couldn't be more excited, guys, to see you got some war paint on me. Uh, and we're gonna extend this spread right back out. Hopefully, got some more yellow, and maybe another big eye. Awesome, man. Let's see what else today has in store. something jump and splash. I was like, what was that? And I hear the drag stream. Crazy eight, baby. So right here are numbers, guys. All right, guys, get two on. Everything's in, we can kind of relax now, but. Guys, chaos of a tuna boat right here. I mean, I'm, I'm pooped. I'm literally, and I couldn't reel on a fish if I wanted to. Um, I pretty, I have species pretty good. Um, all I need is a long fin out here. It's the only other species left to catch tuna wise. That's the main reason I'm out here. Um, we're reeling them in at least. Fight is just brutal, so. After catching that 175, 150 pounder, I'm just gonna sit back and record, stay out of the way, and help these guys land their fish. Knew the morning bite was gonna be good, said that last night, and here we are. This is our second little pile up over here. Three around 520, it's around eight, eight o'clock now, so three hours later, about maybe 30 minutes, an hour of trolling. And we're all set up, so morning bite is on fire. Here we are. Got some color up here. There you go, Mikey. Coming in, coming in. Woo! Good gap shot. Beautiful, man. Gorgeous. 40 pounder, 50 pounder. There you go, Mike. Woohoo! There you go, Zach. There you go, Cap. Sushi lady will be happy. Oh, gorgeous, man. Look at that fish, guys. Nice yellow. Let's get this other one in. Nice fish. Here we are, eh? Down there, we got some colors. Zach's got a leader. Other guys going bonkers over there. Here we go. Smaller. Oh, it's perfect. Yes, Look yes. at that gap shot. Wow. One freaking out in this corner, one bad freak out in that corner. I think it's time for some celebratory Sour Patch Kids. Busted open some celebratory Sour Patch Kids, guys. It's always a good thing to do. No better breakfast at 8.30 in the morning. Two delicious yellowfin right in the boat. And we got one big eye in the kill bag. Let's keep I'll spread back out and see what else we can get out here. Kidding me? Yeah. Hey, dude. Got him right there. there you yeah. go. Yeah. Another new 
species, it's four. That's crazy, man. There you go, good work. I think I caught almost every tune on the Atlantic now. That's the idea of the blackfin. That's crazy, man. Four new species today, guys. That's sick. We're just all along to man. Woo! Another one in the box, guys. So far, we got big eye in the box, two yellow fin, one long fin. So it's three species of tuna in the box. Let some under bluefin go yesterday, or some really tiny micro bluefin yesterday. So, I mean, this trip really can't get much better for me. I, I don't know what else to ask for. Um, I I've just been staying right here on the couch, listening to some, some music, chilling, hear the drag, and just reeling in the fish. I mean, it's a ton of fun. So the fog seems to be the key right now. We had some sun earlier, but now the fog came and that's when we got our little fish. So I'm sure the fish like a little lower light conditions to feed and there we go. So we'll see what the rest of the day brings. Might head inshore for some bluefin, you never know. So a little dirtied up, but fishing's good. Let's see what else happens today. Got to the numbers now. Um, seeing some signs of life, smell some some death in the air. Saw some porpoise back there. Seeing some birds working, and hopefully marking some fish soon. For the boys are throwing the spread in down there, and we're just up here on lookout duty, looking for some fish up top or some whales. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, get some, get our bluefin and then call it a day. Already on. Jackie's got a little bluefin down there. Big old slick right ahead. Get down there and capture that action. Jesus. Well, we got half the spread out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Any members on the front? Neat. Looks like a little bluefin. What the hell is it? It's a bluefish. Are you kidding me? It's a bluefish. <laughs> Look at oh that. Oh my god, it's a bluefish. <laughs> that thing's a slob. Nice little gator. See you, bud. That thing. I haven't seen one that big in forever. Hooked up again, guys. Looks like a real tuna right here, putting on the belt. No gorilla bluefish. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. It's like a decent bluefin. Right in that slick, Chris. Yeah. Oh yeah, sushi baby, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Football, well, fat one. <laughs> mean little guy. There you go. Looping around. Nice now. man, that's a fatty. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool though. Here we go, guys. Oh, nice that's fair. Not even hungry. Hungry guys. There you go, look at that. Woo! Fish on! Well, now, nah, you can get them. Can we have what, two rods out? Let's get ready to dig them. You got a lot? All right. Yeah, there's a good amount of them now. All right. Uh, everyone's just blind pop. Cut off the popper? You want to toss on a jig or what? Oh, it's gonna be freaking sick. You're marking fish or bait, Chris? Oh, yeah. Alright, guys, heard that from the captain himself. There are some uh, some bluefin down about 40 feet, so we can get some jigs out on them and see what they're a little chomp on. We're not gonna post any poppers out right now, but Mikey's fighting a fish. We literally can't catch a break. It's super quick, so. Probably light jigs. Go some somewhat light jigs right here. I think it's the smallest we got. No, no sure what ounce. No clue what ounce this is. This is Zaki's box, so so kind of him to let me borrow one of these. Let's jig up some tuna. Yeah. All right, go and have your jig. 
Uh, not too heavy though. We don't want to overdo. That's a little sexy jig right there. Dropping down. Oh, I have one. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, I got him. Got him. Woo! Yeah, baby. It's a baby one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is awesome. I dropped all the way down the bottom, 200 feet. Feels like a bluefish, yeah. You're right under the boat. Oh, that's epic. Oh, he spit it. I saw I saw color and he spit it. I just want to know what he was. That's I dropped 200 feet down, uh, right to the bottom. I saw my line go slack. Yeah. All right, 75, 100. Woo! <laughs> that was awesome.